Now, earlier on, we had the honor of speaking with on-air personality and VJ Derele Edu. It was quite an insight, not to mention fun. I mean, who wouldn't have fun with Derele in the building, right? But most importantly, we had the privilege of asking him issues about his transgender speculation and scandal, his sexuality and many more. So, rest of the interview continues right now. Enjoy. You know, still speaking about, you know, your, the tags and the perception people have about you. Yeah. Last week, you know, Wednesday to be precise. Yes, sir. You published some very intense photos, you know, of you topless wearing, you know, a girly skinny jeans and, you know, a pair of, you know, heels. Yeah. And you tagged that, um, you know, Nigeria's uh, Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah. Now, a lot of, you know, people, Nigerians went mad and viral with that mm. post. <laughs> now, two things, two perceptions were brought out from that post. Okay. One, people felt it was your own way, you, you know, of, you know, your own brand, again, expressing your own brand. Okay. Yet, a good number of people felt that maybe that was your own way of expressing your sexuality. Okay. How does that sound to you? Okay, I would, okay, I was hoping to put the foot on the table, but I knew that would scare you. <laughs> okay. Now, um, the very first time that Bruce Jenner came out as, you know, Caitlyn, I just, someone just called me and said, are you trending? No, go and check, go and check. And really, I don't check these things. I don't read blogs. I just do what I have to do. I answer, you know, my tweets when I can. Of course, retweet the abusive ones. Mm. And then, of course, Instagram messages and mm. what I can do. I don't have WhatsApp or BBM on my phones. I just do calls and text messages. I'm that old-fashioned. But then someone just said, and then the first tweet I got that had over 500 ret retweets was, oh, the relay is... Nigeria's cake in general without transgender money. Interesting. And that I thought that was really hilarious. But then I now thought about it. I said, but where did I say I wanted to go and carry instruments of confusion like a woman? <laughs> Chine came in. I said, okay, I'll join. And then I had that picture. Like it was a picture I took in front of my house. Someone got me those shoes as would I say some sort of joke? You know, person just but they were perfect fit. And those shoes, of course, are expensive. Mm. So we are one where the shoes self are even painful to walk in. So I said, okay. Maybe it's about time that I address that, really. Because I know with the sort of frame that I have, a lot of ladies ask me, ah, you did chop at all. How do you manage to stay very trim and very, um, you know, I, I'm very, I wouldn't say athletic per se, but I'm quite trim and I've been the same way. Hmm. So I said, okay, all join. This Nigeria's Caitlyn Jenner that they're calling me, let me now tell them that this really does not need to go into a transgender clinic to go and do trans, because I don't need it, really. So it was some sort of joke. I had the mop. I was actually mopping the floor that day. So I just carried the mop. Bam! Yes. And I called my cousin. I said, you know what? Oh, yeah, come and snap this picture. And he was like, ah, for what? For what? No, I said, calm down. Just say. And I had that picture on my phone for months. That and picture had, you know, a location tag. Transgender was, Sex Change Center. And now you're saying you took it to your house. Yes. So we felt you were in a way telling us something. Which can me and we go to transgender <laughs> clinic. They will even throw me out there. So it was just a joke to say I went to the transgender clinic and they told me, why are you changing? You look fabulous the way you are. Go back home. You know, and then here I am back home. Really, um, I don't know if people really did see the joke in it. Obviously they didn't. You know, we can like to, you know, misconstrue and just say, mm -hmm. misunderstand and just take things out of proportion. But then again, I was just having a laugh at all of these things. I know a lot of people started, at the point, people started tagging the Nigerian police, EFCC, the, our president, our governor. Come and carry this boy quick, quick, quick. But now me, they're your front. Nah, nah, nah. So they never yeah. carry me. <laughs> Powerful one. But, uh, well, nice shirtless, everyone is shirtless. You are shirtless in your house. Don't you, don't shirt. Kai, my uh, shoe has cooked uh, my jeans. But, uh, well, I, I don't wear the heels. So. No, 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 no. <laughs> but it was just a tough place, just really to say, I don't need to do these things, really. But if I do, if I would really want to, I think I would have done that long ago. And I would All have right, said it. what's up with your private life? Because sometime in April, there was this news that you were, you know, you were get, going to get married. Yeah. And uh, with to a certain girl named uh, Shildi. <laughs> Shildi. Yeah, Shildi. <laughs> Aha. I know. And uh, in fact, you were even quoted, you know, mm. a lot of people, big blogs, Bella and Jali, like KJ, they all quoted you saying you're going to uh, get married soon. She. Um, well, this is September. Yes, we are getting married. What's up? Are you not getting married? So I am getting married. I am definitely yeah, getting married. He says married, you are getting married but soon. But not to Shulady. Shulady is a very good friend of mine. I might as well just state it out here. I think the media just misconstrued because Shulady had some sort of listening. Um, she dropped a single, so we had like a listening party at a couple of clubs. And we're seen taking very... I wouldn't call those pictures intimate because I'm, me, I'm a hugger. I love to hug people all the time. Hmm. Even if you don't want to hug me, I force you. So I think a, people, you know, a lot of people took those pictures and they just speculated, ah, this person is getting married too. And then Shilly and I laughed about it and we said, okay. I told Shilly, I said, if you can deal with them saying that you are marrying me, horror film, Halloween costume, African local native wish, 
Well, go ahead. And now I even look like a marine spirit. Let me even add marine spirit to my resume. But I am getting married to someone that I think no one knows. And that is... And nobody will know that person until the day of the wedding. Bam. And we will wrap ourselves like a mommy. We, we, no, but why? Why? Can't we keep something private for why? once? Um, I don't know. That's why he said why private Why shouldn't life. we know, you know, the woman until who... Until the day of the wedding. I think it's best that way. Really? You know, yeah. Before people go and meet, the, go and say, look at the person you are married. You are married man that is wearing high heel and carrying weapon on his head. The girl now sit and say, wait, but it's true. I'm not doing it again. Ha. Uh -uh. Enjoy. Charlie, Charlie Boy passed the test. So why, why should yours be Charlie any different? Close is when Charlie Boy has been... Hey, bringing our children. Tete, -te. me, I'm about to start my own. Ha. You know, right. but oh, definitely, definitely getting married. Definitely. And um, the certain person in question is someone who I think people will be surprised to see this person. Do we have ah. a time frame? Is this happening? Do we soon? have a time? Definitely soon. Ah, I want to marry now. Ah. 2015. I'm 1983. I'm looking at 2015. Next year I'll be 33. Crying out loud. Ha. <laughs> 2015. Hopefully, I'm hoping 2015 or early 2016. Okay. Yes, that kind of thing. What are you most thankful for? What am I thankful for? I think I am very thankful to God, first and foremost, for this continued consistency and relevance. Because, you know, like I said, I started out in 1995. And I can say that most of the people that I started out with on that show, falling you off know, everyone just, you know, found something different. But then over time, you know, things have been coming my way. You know, and you know how it is now. And this is an industry where, you know, you just, ah, if you're not ready to play ball, then, you know, just be on your own lane and the really i have been yeah inspiring. just been on yeah. i've just been doing my own thing and it's quite hard a lot of people somebody was talking to me there and said ah, really you have it easier they ah. you don't want to know what i have to go through i have to have to keep convincing people you know that and that's the way the industry is yeah. you know if this was hollywood i know moses i would have sent you my private jet to just come and visit me but this is nigeria really so <laughs> you have to keep at it you have to keep working you have to keep and you know people bring all kinds of shows you these days, eh, to the negotiate said they had. What are you most afraid of? What is your biggest fear? Running out of work to do, that's it. <laughs> I thought about it on the drive here. It has to be that. I can't be idle. I don't know how to sit. And this, I'm not doing anything. It's crazy. All right, just one more thing before you leave. Yes, um, please. Your, your career with um, Sound City. Yeah. You know, quoting Wikipedia, they said yes. you were forced out of Sound City. Uh, yes. Sir. We never really understood <laughs> how, why you left, really. <laughs> What happened? Let's hear from the host. Oh, <laughs> you are like a dictionary. You Let's want to add meaning to my life. <laughs> or that I want to open. Okay. <laughs> I never really got out to say what really happened. Because at that point that I was forcefully ousted, you know, out of Sound City, I just thought there was really no point in trying to paint somebody that I'd worked for for six years, hmm. somebody who I respected so much, I still do, even though maybe I'm not as close as, not, not, we're not as close as we used to be. Hmm. But I would say, it happened, and you know one of those things that happened and it's like a blur and you're trying to understand, it just, there were like series of events, one thing just led to another, led to another, led to another, and then I was just like, in my house, ground zero, zero dot zero zero in my bank account, and then you know, there was nothing. What actually happened was, I remember like mid-2010, mm -hmm. I started working with Sound City in 2005, but I'd worked with Mr. Tajidi Nadekbet on Everyday People in 2002, 2003, so, I mean, I was family with the brand and then when he told us about sound city i was very excited you know but when we got on i was the least earner at that point we started mm. out in 2005 i think the major presenters then were earning a hundred thousand per month and i was earning thirty five thousand or forty five i think wow. but i worked to a level that now i started earning 200k because i had to prove it i had to work really hard for everyone else to believe that i had what he, I, I, you know, you forget what I mean. I stayed in Sound City. I didn't even go home. 200,000 naira, 20,000 dollars. Well, starting at that point now, 200K. <laughs> I, might, I might as well just say this now. That, that was then now, you know. But then we're getting extra money from other stuff, you know. And then when you go for gigs, people mm -hmm. give you brown envelopes and stuff. And I'd worked really hard, I think, to really gain the trust of my boss. But 2010, I went to Dubai for a show, got back. And then, you know, I just saw policemen in the house. They wanted to arrest me. I was wondering what for they said there was a petition against me. I was confused. For what? Where? Who? How? Ah. And it was in my family house. So everyone witnessed it. I had family members, cousins, aunts, people who knew I just got back from Dubai. So they wanted to, you know, obtain me. Mm. And then I got to the station, the petition I saw, I've still never said it. Okay. It had to be the most outrageous thing I'd ever read in my All life. Right. Producers already screaming yes. in my ears. I wouldn't have But now we're back here now, you know. But and before um, before we go, final words. That's, final that's, words that's to, the past. to young that's Nigerians past. out there who, you know, might have lost hope. Yeah. How would you advise them? Oh, really, I always say this to everyone, you know. Um, 
Always be a first class version of yourself and not a second class version of anybody else. Choose a job that you love and you never have to work a day for the rest of your life. And my people, the hustle is real. Though. But you know, just keep at that hustle. You go reach there. If me, where be said, and they throw me come out for bus, now me day and now me sit down for here. Forget the crazy clothes so I can walk into anywhere and get anything done and get anybody to sign anything that I want. If you understand what I mean? Yeah. Message, did that matter. Listen to learn, but also learn to listen. Now they really talk about. Thank you so much, Mr. Jerry. Thank you, Moses. I know you can't wait to get rid of me. <laughs> I hope there's food. Actually, I, 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 you know, I was wishing we could, you know, talk more, but I know. we really don't have much. Time. Let's keep trending. Uh, now we have to keep trending. Yes, yeah, we don't we'll read the news. We make the news. Keep a hashtag. To Let's you. keep making the news. <laughs> All right, so that was uh, Dearly Edwin here on What's Trending. It's been a, an amazing time. We really wish we could talk more, but um, not to worry. We hope that he wears another pair of, pair of high heels or, yes. you know, mop sticks so that we can bring him on, you know, and talk on the story. Well, you could see, oh my God. Jesus you can play it like a guitar if you want to. Okay, so it's the What's Trending. And if you have issues trending in your local community that i like us to talk about, feel free to tweet me with the Twitter handle um, at Moses TV News or with the hashtag What's Trending. We would definitely love to hear from you. Many, many thanks for watching. I'm Moses Morgana, and I'll be seeing you next time. Bye for now. Oh, da boy. <laughs> bye, bye, people. Bye, 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 bye. What's trending? Give Moses hair. Ha. <laughs>